Hear that? That's the sound of the spring. And oh man, do I love the spring. But in order to really appreciate the spring, we have to dress well for the spring and summer. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how to do that. For example, the first thing you need to start wearing in this warmer seasons, you gotta start wearing some textured clothes. Look, if you want something different without getting too far out of your comfort zone, if you wanna switch it up from normal t-shirts and button downs, you have to start finding some textured clothes. Look, the biggest examples of this are gonna be my two most recent pickups from Zara. I got one textured long sleeve polo and one textured button down. Again, not too far off my normal style, but still trying something new. Pretty much what I mean by textured is things out outside of normal cotton that everybody else wears. It's pretty much things with pattern in them. So for example, this long sleeve polo, the knit pattern is kind of pleated, which makes it look completely different from a normal polo. Same thing with this button down. It looks completely different, because of the texture on the shirt. So this is something that I'm getting really big into this season. Like I said, these are my two most recent pickups, but I'm definitely gonna be going back for more. Next thing that you need for the spring and summer is gonna be some tank tops. Now look, in the warmer seasons, a lot of people say that they can't layer, which rightfully so. If you try to layer like it's in the fall, you're gonna be drenched in sweat. It's gonna be uncomfortable and you're gonna smell pretty bad. But look, you don't have to completely give up layering. What you should do instead is pick up some tank tops so that way you can throw something on top. So you're continuing to layer, but the right way for the spring and summer. Now, of course, you can't wear the jackets that you were wearing in the winter, which means no puffer jackets. But if you get some lightweight jackets or maybe something like a shirt jacket, maybe even something like a flannel, you could throw this on over a tank top. You could still be cool while looking good at the same time. Now, look, I just have the basic tank tops, ones that you get from Walmart, Target, but I am looking into some more fashionable ones. So places like Calvin Klein, Uniqlo, they have tank tops that look a little bit different. It might look a little better, who knows? It's gonna be something that I'm gonna be experimenting with. All right, so I mentioned earlier, you gotta switch it up from the normal button downs, but that doesn't mean you should completely kill it off because that's the next essential. Whether it's a long sleeve or short sleeve, doesn't really matter. Obviously, yeah, the short sleeves are gonna be a better option, but either way, they're essential for the spring and summer. So I personally like camp colored shirts. I like Oxford shirts, but this one can be a little bit too heavy. So this is more so for the spring rather than the summer. My favorite ones are from Ralph Lauren, but you can get some pretty cool ones from places like Zara, ASOS, Abercrombie. Now, speaking of Ralph Lauren, this one in particular has to be my favorite one. So yes, it is a long sleeve, but this one is super lightweight, super breathable, and it's in the color white, which obviously the color white isn't anything too crazy. But I will say for the spring and summer, I'm typically gonna be going with lighter shades. So white is definitely an essential for the spring. And of course, every single time that I talk about button down shirts, I will always mention the fact that you shouldn't button it up all the way. Leave a few unbuttoned, it looks a lot better in my opinion. And it's a good way to show off any chains and necklaces that you may be wearing, which you definitely should be. All right, next, let's talk about shorts. <laughs> Look, I get it. Right now, cargo shorts and jean shorts are very popular. However, I'm not gonna be wearing these. I hate how they look. No one can convince me otherwise. No one can tell me that these are fashionable. If they are your style and you like it, by all means, wear it. I'm gonna stay away from these. I will continue to wear five inch gym shorts. My favorite ones are the rival Gymshark shorts. These are the perfect fit, perfect material. I could buy these in a bunch of different colors and be happy, but I do like to switch it up. I have some from a brand called Dark Sport. There's other brands out there like Fabletics. These are great options for gym shorts. The only thing is, these aren't really too good to be going out. If you like the sophisticated look, these aren't gonna do you any favors. So if I am gonna be going out, I'm gonna be looking at things like linen blend. All right, next let's talk about some pants. This one is a bit tricky because pants typically are a little heavy weight. If you wear these in the spring and summer, you are gonna get a little sweaty. It's gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna smell terrible. So let's talk about some great options for this warmer season. Right now, I don't really have too many good options, but I'm gonna be experimenting with a lot of different things. For example, some pleated pants, preferably some that are lightweight. Places that I'm gonna be checking out are gonna be places like Abercrombie or Zara. If you can't tell, these are some of my favorite stores. Linden pants is gonna be one of the best options out there. Again, I personally don't have one quite yet, but it's gonna be something that I'm really looking into this year. All right, so let's talk about some shoes now. Of course, for you sneakerheads, you could definitely play around with some shoes like Jordan 1s, Nike Dunks, anything like that, because right now is the perfect time to experiment with some pops of color. And although I'm not a big sneakerhead myself, my shoes are gonna show some pops of color. But at the same time, this warmer season, I'm gonna be going out a lot more. I'm gonna be walking a lot. So I personally need something very, very comfortable. So some of my favorite options are gonna be some like the Yeezy 350s. I like my Doc Martens, even though I know some people don't like boots in the warmer season. If it's really hot outside, I probably won't wear these, but maybe more for a cool day in the spring. New Balance is also a great option. I like the 327s, I like the 550s. Speaking of the 550s and speaking about pops of color, I definitely need to pick up some more of these in different colors because I think New Balance 550s, since they have a bunch of different colorways, some of these are great for the spring. All right, now we're gonna be talking about sunglasses. So let's go over something. I want you to try to name one person that doesn't look cool with sunglasses. Exactly, 
you can't. Now, when it comes to sunglasses, I think there's two options. I think you can go like the men in black route, which means they're completely tinted. You can't see through them, or you can go the Robert Downey Jr. route. These have a little bit of a hue to them. They're a bit see-through. Both of these are great options. I personally have both. I have sunglasses from Gucci that you cannot see through, and I have some from Burberry that you can see through, and it has that cool Robert Downey Jr. look. Now look, designer sunglasses are not worth it. You're way better off getting some from Ray-Ban, or you can even go more affordable options. That's entirely up to you. But I do have a few from Ray-Bans and honestly, typically I'd be wearing these. Now there is one pair of sunglasses that I've been searching for for a very long time now. One of my favorite actors, Taron Egerton. I saw him in a movie, he was wearing some personal sunglasses and I found them, but they were sold out and I've been waiting to get them ever since. Maybe this year they'll become available. I'll pick them up for myself, but this is definitely on my wish list. The next thing you need is gonna be some good fragrances. Now, this is probably gonna be my favorite topic in today's video. If you don't know by now, I am very big into fragrances. Now, for the spring and summer, you don't want something too strong. You're just gonna give the people around you a headache. So, for the warmer seasons, you need something light, you need something fresh. Preferably, you want something aquatic. Now, if you don't care about fragrances and you don't care about wearing some that are very popular that most other guys have, that's cool. Here are some good options for that. Blue de Chanel, possibly one of the best fragrances out there. But again, it's just very popular. Ralph Lauren Blue Parfum, one of my favorite ones but I see a lot of other guys wearing it. And Aqua the Geo Parfum. This is another great one, but I would admit a lot of my friends have this one as well. So if you want some underrated options that your friends probably don't have, I have you covered for that as well. One of the ones that I'm gonna be wearing is gonna be Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. This one, hands down one of my best colognes out there, especially for the spring and summer. So it's gonna be one of my go-tos. Another one is gonna be Legend Spirit. This one is probably one of my more complimented ones. So definitely had to make the list as well. Now look, if you noticed, a lot of these things that I mentioned, I don't personally own just quite yet. So if you wanna join me on my wish list, here's a quick recap of the things that I'm gonna be picking up just in case you wanna join me as well. So more textured polos, gonna be buying a lot more of these. For shoes, I definitely want that Puma collab with Ami. The shoes are called the Slipstreams. I love the way these look, so I definitely want this one to be my next pickup. I want some pleated pants, and I want those personal sunglasses, if I could find those at least. This is everything that I'm gonna be wearing to the spring. I can say out of all those pickups, probably gonna be looking at the shoes next, but if you wanna look at my entire sneaker collection to this date, I have a video to show you exactly that. But anyways, other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.